everybody, how's it going? Octopus here and welcome back. I hadn't posted any videos for the past two days because one of my family members had passed away and I was spending time with the family and going to the funeral. And I just want to say thank you to everybody who showed their support and love towards me and everybody who had patience and didn't really care about the content and they want to make sure I was okay. I want to say I appreciate that so much. So let you know that it means a lot to me guys. It means a, absolutely a lot that you actually showed all your support and love. So thank you. But into the game, here we are, Kingdom Hearts, back in action. We had a couple updates. There is here and there things I want to talk about, but anything special? No, not really. Anything exciting? Yes, we got more story mode. Story mode has been added 15 new quests. If you guys remember, 5 quests now equals 250 jewels. I don't know if it's still like that, but last time we they added 15 quests, they gave us 250 for every 5. So we're looking forward to some good amount of jewels off this. I don't want to talk about the story, but anybody who recognizes this from the back cover, you know what's going on. So the story is catching up, it's getting juicy, and I'm looking forward to playing the story. So let's go into Proud Quest. This is not Proud Mode, this is those three quests that have always been there since the beginning. These quests are not going anywhere, so if you can't pass them, it's level 280 Proud Quest. The enemies are going to be kind of tough, depending on what your setup is. But eventually you'll be able to pass it, so don't kill yourself trying to do this over and over and over. Just wait till you can, go back to it, try it if you can't. Wait till you pull more medals, event medals, so on and so on. So don't worry, this is good. Free gems. Um, honestly, that's great for any new players because gems are important to actually exceed in the game. A Keyblade that's not a high level and is stuck at 20 or 25, eventually you're going to have trouble. So you want to upgrade your Keyblade as much as possible and free gems. Well, not free gems. For completing the quest, you get gems, which is good. So this is nice. Take your time with it. Don't worry about it. It's always going to be there. Now we got Valentine's Deal Part 2. Ah, uh, la, la. Okay. Let's just take a moment to talk about how sexy Riku is. That is some good-looking hair right there. That is a good-looking metal right there. That is just so good, okay? Besides the <laughs> illustrated art... Let's talk about the metal itself. Deals 11 immensely powerful hits, raises the power D, uh, strength by two tiers for two tier turns. It's a three cost AoE. It's a Maui. Basically, it's a Maui, but for two turns. And since we do have a Maui in the game, I honestly don't think we should be pulling for this. Same thing with the Sora and the Riku. Amazing looking metals, sexy looking metals. But is it worth your jewels? I don't think so. Now, I know people in Japan will be like, oh, this metal's good, Sora's good. Okay, yes, they are. They're absolutely good if you can guilt them. But I'm going to make these towards North American Global and in our state of the game, where we don't have Mickey and Brooms and we don't have wave guilt in this unless we're dropping huge amounts of money or we save jewels since the beginning and haven't pulled for anything, then there's no point. There's no point for this tier 4s, tier 5s unless we can guilt them because we have metals that do these effects. The whole point you're going to pull for a metal now in global is for their effect is it gonna affect your keyblade setup is having raising power base strength by two tiers for two turns worth it in your keyblade setup is gonna make a big change that you're actually gonna drop 15,000 jewels to get if not then stay away from this guys if you have uh, Lumineer if you have the Maui if you have anything that raises World of Final Fantasy medals uh, Jack and Sally's anything that raises all the tributes or raises the power base strength then basically you don't need this metal. So that's all I want to say about that is that if we can't guilt these metals then there's really no point to them because we're only getting the base of it and the, it's good if you pull one but it's not going to change your game drastically and that's really where you want to save your jewels for. Something's going to be on all your Keyblades and really help you out, really make a difference. Like a times 3 buffer or something like gen general defense down, that's what I'm waiting for now. A metal that has general defense down is the next metal I'm going to be going for. The one that does one or two tiers for multiple turns. That would be a great metal. Now, besides that, like I said, this metal right here hits like a truck. For anyone that is spending the money, if you do end up guilding this metal at a good guilt, this thing's going to wreck, wreck everything. Everything that you're going to play through is going to be able to do it without a problem. So, huge props to anyone who gets the guilt these and gets the guilt this sexy looking metal right here. So enough of this medal, enough of this pole. There's nothing really added to it. It's the same thing. We get epic medals. We get three dots. The Riku comes with three dots at a chance. It's not guaranteed. So like, if that was a guarantee, then it might be worth 
30,000 jewels if you saved it up and you really like the metal, then sure. You have a gilded tier 5 metal, which is really strong. But the last part we want to talk about is more bonus jewels. Um, like I said before, every time this comes out, it's a joke. I feel sorry for anyone that actually spends money in this game. You're supporting them, and in return, they're laughing at you. They're like, well, if you spent hundred over $100, $150, you're going to get the normal 16000 but you're only getting a bonus of 1300 So you don't even get a free pull. You spend over $100, you're supporting them, and you don't even get a free pull. That is kind of ridiculous. Even 3,000 jewels is not enough. There's so many games that actually give you half. Like, if you spend this much money and you got 16,000 jewels, we'll give you 8,000 bonus jewels. You know what I mean? You're supporting them. So why aren't they giving us something just a little bit better than 1,300 jewels for over $100? It's insane, guys. I absolutely, absolutely think this part's a joke. I don't know why they even put this in here. Like, look, if you buy the weekly, you get a bonus of 50 jewels. Yay! No. Just, just no, okay? This is absolutely ridiculous. Cena needs to really just stop this. They, It's an embarrassment to actually post this at all. If you're not going to put a decent amount of jewels on here, then don't do this at all. This is just a joke, especially for those who actually support you a lot. And I can't, I have nothing else to say about this. This is just sad. Absolutely sad. And also, it's not 16,000 jewels. That's a total. When you buy the $100 pack, or it's more than $100, you get 14,700. And they're giving you 1300 at least 6,000 two free pulls for supporting us with our biggest amount you can buy in one shot so that's all I want to say about that I have no problem with them wanting to make money but at least show your support to those who do support you that's all I want to say besides that um, there is nothing really going on for quest wise quest wise we still have the Alice event which was absolutely amazing I loved it I have to do it on this account. Um, I've been so busy, and you know, as you know, stuff has happened. So I haven't really farmed the, the Meow Wow and Pals on this account. I did on the other accounts, but I haven't posted any videos on that. Basically, just make a couple of copies of that if I don't make a video, just in case. Have at least two copies. One that it's going to be yours, that's Chippendaled with whatever you want. I like Attack Boost 3 on single attackers. That's my preference. Um, it might change later on depending on how high score challenges go, but for single attackers, like you guys see my dark side, it has attack boost 3, my Meow just has attack boost 3, so on and so on. Great metal, if you guys can get it, guilt it, one at 100%, and the other ones, just get them guilted at whatever percent, and have them on standby just for, let's say you want a Lux farm, okay, now I'll make a Lux one, and you don't have to get rid of your attack boost 3 on your main one. Or let's say it's in the high score challenge, we can put metals on it, like skill plus, so paralysis plus, sleep plus, poison plus, so on and so on. Farm a couple of them just because you can and it's not too hard. There's zero AP, it's not going to cost you guys anything. Weaken comes, farm those Mickeys to evolve those five stars to six stars. It's not a big deal. At least make two copies, one for yourself and one to throw away. I prefer three copies, one for myself and two extras just in case something goes down. There is new medals in the album, so I'm not too sure what's going on. There might be a high score challenge this weekend. It could be a mini one, or it could start on Monday. Who knows? But they didn't put any medals in these jewel in these jewels. They didn't put any medals in these poles with Riku or Sora. So I don't know really. I don't know what they're gonna add, guys. To tell you the truth, it it could be a high score challenge. That's all I can think of, or some kind of new deal in the poles. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling, and I'll see you in the next one.